Hey guys, how's it going? I think we might be able to catch some buses, some school buses driving by, so let's see what we can find out. Okay, here's a bus. So I'm gonna turn it on. See if the bus stops here. Okay, bus did not stop. All right, definitely a lot of kids here that are being dropped off. Here's a school. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. Some kids just got honked at because they tried to cross the road. <laughs> so it's a 20 mile per hour speed zone here when school is in session. And the kids just got let out. So here's a flashing yellow light with a speed limit 20 sign. And we are going maximum 30 miles per hour. Uh, the speed limit is being recognized as 25, so it is effectively ignoring the speed limit sign for the school. Uh, going very slowly here. Oh, and then I'm stopping automatically, so my I didn't actually stop. The car stopped automatically. And it sees this woman with her stop sign. I mean, she's holding up a temporary stop sign. And it actually shows it here on, on the screen floating. <laughs> and a bicycle goes and hits her. Okay, now it's kind of creeping forward. And she's moving away. And the car automatically goes. Okay, okay, now it's slowing down. That was really cool. So that was an awesome human automation interaction. There that lady gets into her car on the right. All right, so I had to slow this down to 80% speed just to capture everything that happened here. I also zoom in on the visualizations. So the child from the left turns blue there for a second. You can see the crossing guard in the middle of the road and the stop sign kind of hovering. This bicyclist comes out from the right, is blue as well, goes right through the crossing guard. Kind of funny how it intersects there. But as she walks away, my car starts to move, makes it a little bit awkward. She puts the stop sign down. It disappears from the visualization. Now you can see this car up here on the side of the road. This woman is outside of her car, closes the door. It actually closes it on the visualization, opens the door again. It opens immediately, gets into the car, and then it closes one second later. Really interesting what we just saw there. So I did not do a single thing and the car managed everything. I think it did fairly well. There was a tiny bit of awkwardness there at the end with the lady as she was about to walk away. The car started to move earlier than she started to walk away. Here you can see the car starts to move. But uh, that was definitely very interesting. So we don't have a destination plugged in right now, so I'm just gonna cancel out of it. We're gonna, oh, actually we've got another bus or two up here. They'll just see if we get lucky. I've never tested around buses before, so I'm very curious to see how it responds. And I have a really good feeling that it doesn't recognize buses at all. So the only question I have is if if the bus's stop sign flips out, if the car will see that and stop. Because in a normal situation with a stopped vehicle, the Tesla will try to go around the vehicle, around the stopped vehicle. And I've had several instances of that where... The car tried to go round something and it was putting my car at risk so i had to disengage here's one example so i'm exiting a business park and there's a semi truck in front of me instead of stopping behind it it actually tries to go around it so this really surprised me and i had to disengage to take over Okay, here we come entering a school zone and it's 20 miles per hour and the car is ignoring the 20 mile per hour speed limit. The car in front of us, which is a bus, is also ignoring the school speed limit, which is 20 miles per hour. So I'm just going to slow this down here. See now it saw that person crossing the road and 
flipped out. Okay, let's do a quick replay here. So we're going to slow it way down to 35%. You can see this Volkswagen is covering the traffic guard. And now they show up and the traffic guard starts walking out right now, turns red, and then instantly I get the message, but it's too late to slow down. So I think there was a delay there. And then it proceeds to really slow down and then I have to step on the accelerator to finish. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time because it's so fascinating to me. I'm going to zoom in and you can see here the crossing guard. She is right there. There's a bicyclist and another person and all three of these people show up on the visualization. Now I'm going to slow it all the way down to 25% speed and we're going to observe very carefully how the car responds to this situation. All right, so the Volkswagen comes covers up the line of view of all those people. They briefly disappear there for a split second, but they all come right back. She starts walking out and the car reacts right here. And again, it's a little bit too late, but it does slow down. And nobody was behind me, but I just felt so strange going so slow here that I had to step on the accelerator but it did take the necessary caution to avoid hitting any pedestrians here. And slowed way down. So I should have lowered the speed limit much earlier, but definitely breaking a law there going through a school zone with a higher speed than what's posted on the signs. All right, so I thought it did pretty well there in the school zone, uh, with the exception of not being able to recognize the speed limit sign. Other than that, the pedestrians, it took extra caution. The woman that ran out with the stop sign was a little bit late to react to her the second time. But overall, I would give that an A. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll try to catch some more school buses in another video. If you like my content, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.